hoodie. It's Remy Live in HD. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for updates. Leave a comment, share, a whole nine. I want to talk about an interesting topic today. Two River TV hats. I got them on deck. Let me know. It's a very interesting topic that a lot of people might be able to relate to. I'm just not recently being able to talk about this in, in detail. But uh, we're going to talk about today is um, anxiety. 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 Eesh. I've not been familiar with this topic personally until about well how about this I haven't been aware of this topic personally until about maybe three years ago five years ago I had an anxiety attack one time. And I knew I had an anxiety attack. I said, what? But recently, I've, I've experienced anxiety and knew and it wasn't an attack. It was anxiety. <laughs> I, I, re, I recently had it. And I was like, what? What is anxiety? I'm only speaking for personal experience, and I know people can relate. Anxiety is like... An urge. It's like when, you, when you're when anxious, you just gotta do something. You know what I'm saying? You're unsettled. you like... It, it could be a Monday. Time not moving fast enough for you. You want it to hurry up and be Friday. Today. You don't feel productive. You feel like you got to get into something. You feel like you got to do something. You feel like you're not doing enough. Nothing's never enough. You're restless. You might have done everything you set out to do for the day, but for some reason you like, all right, now what? <laughs> Easily irritated. Can't sleep. Overexcited. It's like you're calm. You're sitting calm. But your insides is just like. And I experienced that. I was like, wow. Why do I feel like this? You know? You might have had a busy weekend. And then the weekend is over with. And you start your weekend. <sighs> You think you finna rest, but you gotta get back you know, to it. But it's like, you're experiencing emotions that have been built up from the weekend prior. That you thought was over with. Like, all of this stuff is connected. This, these, these days, these weeks, these energies. A lot of us <clears throat> like to com compartmentalize our experiences. So like, alright, cool, I went through that, I'm done with that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But not knowing all this stuff is is connected. I was wondering why Thursday of last week I was so tired. Didn't want to do nothing. It's because the prior Thursday I was in the bed all day. All day. So now this Thursday, past Thursday, when I'm supposed to be up and active and blah, 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 
No, my body, <laughs> it remembers last Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Muscle memory and all that stuff, whatever. Energy is real, man. Energy is real. You know? And it's crazy, like, the type of pressure we put on ourselves and the consistent pressure, you know, with the jobs and with the responsibilities, with kids and all this stuff. We do so many things routinely and don't understand how this stuff affects us. It affects our state of mind. Expect it affects our energy. You know what I'm saying? You ever met a type of person that go through so much junk at work, then you know, bring their work home. So now they start lashing out on people at the house, and you like, dog, what the heck? Did I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what did I do? You know what I'm saying? But that energy followed them home. They never unwind it, dealt with it, you know, um, equalized it to where it didn't spill off into how they treat others. I definitely try my best not to be that type of person. So I don't even talk about work. Like, you know, I don't like to. I don't like to talk about work at home. I don't, when I go on vacation, I don't like calling home. It's just like, I'm on vacation. Like, I'm not about to go to vacation and be talking to y'all while I'm gone. Like, no. I'm here, and I'm all the way here. When I come back, I'll be back, you know. But I try to compartmentalize those different things because they can affect, you know, what's going on. And you're here and now. It's like people that live in the past. Live in the past, what do you do? You ultimately repeat the past. And you start manifesting the past because if you're living in the past, that means that's what you're expecting. You know, if you're living in it, that means you're living for it. And you, 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 um, you're living with those same expectations. Subconsciously, it ain't got to be conscious. Subconsciously, then we see people, you deal with those people in those capacities as well. But back to the anxiety piece, man. Anxiety is not good. <laughs> Anxiety is not good, man. You know, and you can be anxious. It's not always bad, neither. It's like, I just can't wait. You know, but you could be anxious about something good, but being anxious ain't good. It, you know, it, Things could be going good, and you like, you're like, dang, it's going too good. Like, all right, something else need to happen. Something like you just, <laughs> it's it's an unsettling, unsatisfactory situation, and actually, it can lead into double mindedness. That's what I don't like about it. It can lead you into being ungrateful, impatient, and double minded. Can't make a decision. Cause you don't know what to do next. You don't know what to do, so you just don't do nothing. But you you feel like you got to do something, and it's just it, it it it's not good. It's not good. I'm not going to say it's good. It it could be it can happen in the middle of good things happening. You see what I'm saying? You know, but it can lead to bad things happening if it's not dealt with. And that's why I don't like it. You know, so, uh, yeah, man, <laughs> it usually doesn't show up until you do something. When you start doing things, that's when you realize how anxious you are. You're like, hold up. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm doing too much. Like, hold up. You know, it usually shows up in activity. You know, you start behaving differently. You start doing things jumping the gun you know what I'm saying start forcing stuff get anxious anxious that's not a bump that's not a bump is that lighting oh yeah so, uh, excuse me, <laughs> looking at, um, watching, 
live as it's happening. But um, is there a solution? If you got a solution for anxieties, put them in the comments below. I want to hear you your thoughts on the subject because I'm, you know, newly paying more attention to my feelings, emotions, my body, my energy, all that stuff, whatever. I'm paying more attention to that. That's what I've been focusing on, the inner me, uh, in these past six months. I've been trying to um, work on my soft skills. You know, my hard skills, I pretty much got those, but the soft skills, I'm working on those. And I want to know what you guys think about how do you, you know, satisfy or equalize or uh, how do you make solvent your anxiety? You know, I heard some folks say um, the solution to anxiety is action. Got to do something. You know what I'm saying? And that's, it's a pickle because you just, you know, you got to make sure that your actions that are in an attempt to solve or to quench your anxiety, they're good actions. Because like I said, I know for a fact, anxiety can lead to double-mindedness and double-mindedness is not never good. And it's like, what if the the two things you want to do, you do the wrong thing, you know? You focus on the wrong thing, you, you put all your energy in the wrong thing, trying to, you know? So, I never uh, advocate moving out of desperation. I never advocate moving. When you're not sure. Oh my God. Oh. When you're not sure. You know. Because now at this point you're fighting a feeling. And when you're fighting a feeling. Now you're. You're, 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 in, ch you're in chase mode. You're chasing now. And it's like chasing is not good neither. You're chasing emotions and stuff. Or trying to chase emotions away or. I don't advocate that either. I was just, <laughs> no, it's not good to chase. So yeah, leave leave your comments about it, cause like I said, a lot of people live in desperation, live in survival mode. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them people. You know what I'm saying? So when I experience that, I'm like, dang, hold on, what is this? Like, ah, like where did this start? Like, uh, you know? So I'm still learning. So just let me know about it. I just wanted to speak on it because I've I've been experiencing it. Uh, mm, when I really really knew it, I was like about three weeks ago. I was like, man, I've been I was anxious. I'm restless. Like, what the heck? You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why it's important to have goals and plans and stuff like that. So when you get this sense of urgency or something like that, you 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 can focus your attention on something else because. <laughs> A lot of times we don't know where it's coming from. That's the jacked up part. You just come, you just have a feeling come over you. You're like, what, what is, you know, a lot of times you don't know where it's stemming from. So now you're thinking about that. Then you're trying to think about what to do to solve it. And you're thinking about that. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I need your help, people. Let me know in the comments below if you've dealt with anxiety and what are some solutions that you would uh, suggest I'm no expert in this area I'm not you know like I said but I'm glad this is happening I'm glad that I'm paying more attention I'm glad I'm more aware you know but uh I need you guys to help me out with that I ain't got the slightest clue on this cause like I said it's an inner thing it's an inner feeling it's, it's emotions it's the way the mind works it's fatigue it's it's all of that mixed in one. You know? How many times y'all jumped the gun? It was a bad decision. Like, man, you know what? I should have just stayed home. Or I should have just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I should have just not did it. I should have just not went there. I should have just not entertained that. I should have not made that phone call. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many, <laughs> how many people have dealt, dealt with that when they've been anxious about something? Form of survival mode.
It could be no one around, you know? And like I said, um, my anxiousness, a lot of times I'm anxious is after some great things have happened. You know what I'm saying? Like good things have happened, you know? It's like, all right, now what? You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> cause you wanna keep it going. You wanna keep it going. You want the greatness to keep going, you know? I ain't gonna belabor the time on this. Like I said, comment below. I need your help. Um, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me some of your uh, questions, comments, and concerns on the top topic of anxiety. Anxiety. You know, you know, we're not supposed to be anxious for nothing. It's a lot of things that pull us into that space, and I just need some help on how to get out of that space when it does happen you know sometimes I feel slight anxiety here and there but sometimes it's heavy you know so all right then uh two roof tv caps got them on deck the weather's no better so I'm gonna highlight y'all check y'all in the next one peace